Happy Vlogmas! So today we're trying two more of the Starbucks holiday drinks. So back in Vlogmas day two, I'll link that video up above, we did two of the Starbucks holiday drinks. We did the toasted, uh, no. <laughs> we did chestnut. The chestnut praline and the creme brulee. Right. And then now we have two more of the holiday drinks that we have never tried before. This one is the toasted white chocolate mocha and it has these little pink sprinkles. And this is the eggnog latte. And we have never tried either of these before, not even the eggnog, which is surprising because that's a classic, but we just, we right. never tried it. So let's see. Cheers. So what's in here is uh, two shots of uh, espresso, right? And both? Yes, this is a tall and I added an extra shot of espresso and I took away one pump of the syrup. The eggnog latte has no syrup in it. It is just a pre-mixed like drink. So then okay. it has two shots of espresso in it automatically because it's a grande. Right, So All right, cool. Oh, that's beautiful. Mm. It's pretty good. I like the whipped cream on top. This one tastes like... Mm. I'm not gonna lie though. This tastes literally just like white chocolate mocha. I don't know why it's called toasted white chocolate mocha. It's just a white chocolate mocha. I just don't know what the flavor of eggnog... This reminds me of the mm. chestnut. Of the that one's really toasted good. chestnut. Tastes similar. I do like this one too, but I just, you're right, I don't understand what the flavor of eggnog exactly is. All right, it tastes good. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. It's not too sweet. And I didn't do anything to alter this one. Right. So this is the way it's supposed to be. If you're looking for like something super sweet, go for the toasted white chocolate mocha. But even, what is this, two pumps? I feel like even a third pump would have even be that it. sweet. Yeah. yeah. I've been so paranoid about making these drinks too sweet, but but again, I added an extra shot of espresso to the tall. Ah, uh, okay. This one is normal, but that one I added an extra shot. I like this, but I don't understand the flavor of eggnog. The flavor profile of eggnog latte, but um, it's nice. <laughs> Can you, you don't know how to drink? <laughs> I'm been trying to get the whipped cream on top. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, still trying to get to the sweet. island in the middle. I can't get it. Yeah, I know. Can't get the whipped cream. Oh, by the way, if you guys haven't tried the Irish cream nitro cold brew, that's really good too. I thought we were doing that today, but we already tried that. We already that. tried that. Yeah. <laughs> the Irish cream nitro cold brew is the new <sighs> sweet pumpkin cream nitro cold brew from October. <laughs> it is really good. But um, this is fun. Obviously, these are hot drinks. You could get them iced. You can get them and fraps. I just feel like I like my coffee hot. So, by the way, so we totally were two days behind. Not two days behind, but we missed two days of Vlogmas. So, mm. we were on a trip. <laughs> <laughs> we went on a trip and once you go on a trip, we were trying to be like four days ahead on Vlogmas just so we could avoid having... No, we were. Until the trip. Until the trip came closer and it got harder to be ahead. And then the trip came and like, you know, it is what it is. We lost two days of Vlogmas. Yeah. But pretty much every year for Vlogmas, we've missed at least one or two days. It's very hard to get every single day. So props to you if you're doing Vlogmas and you've gotten every single day down so far. Because some people that we've, we've watched have done it every single day. I haven't yeah. missed a day. But if you go on a trip, it's going to mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're like planned ahead of time for real. Mm -hmm. But, um... But yeah, actually another thing we have to do is that we are so behind on advent calendars that I figured we could include the advent calendar opening to the end of this video. So gonna catch up. We gotta catch up on our advent calendars, yeah. Alright. I mean I've kind of had some cheese. Oh really? <laughs> you had cheese without me? I mean Well I had some chocolate. You did? No, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, we also have a new pet. So I thought I would uh, introduce that to you guys. So we have a new pet and... We don't have a pet. We won't say that. She's, she's our new pet. I guess. <laughs> she's our, our outside pet, unfortunately. But you'll see soon. So this is Kitty. She lives in the side of our house now. We arrived from Orlando that night and she was just crying outside of the house and I didn't know what to feed her because I don't have cat food. Gave her like scrambled eggs because I had to Google and find out what could I give her. And now it's been like five days or almost gonna be, yeah, like five days and she's just been here every day waiting for me to give her food. 
and she loves cuddles. She's the sweetest thing ever. She likes to be petted. She likes cuddles. I literally sit here in the chair with her and for like 10 minutes, I'll just be petting her straight and she'll just love it. I've been trying to see if I could find someone who would want to take her in because I feel bad that I can't let her sit in my house. Number one, Coco and her do not get along. I've tried. She doesn't trust Coco. Number two, I have piano students who come to my house and a lot of people are allergic to cats and I can't have people not come for lessons because because they're allergic to the cat. So I've been trying to find someone who would want to take her in and give her a home. Unfortunately, I haven't found that yet. So now the next step is I'm thinking of getting her fixed. And I think that I might do that like on Wednesday of this week. I want to get her fixed because I'm worried that she'll get pregnant and she'll decide to have a million kittens right here in my side yard. And then I can't even find a home for one cat, much less a bunch of kittens. And then I'm going to have a way bigger responsibility on my hands. So I don't know. A part of me really wishes I could just take her inside and have her be my house pet. But, oh, you're sleepy. <laughs> I really wish I could take her inside. She is the sweetest thing ever. She loves to be petted and cuddled, but it's just a shame that I, I, I teach lessons in my house and there are so many kids I know who are allergic to cats and I would have to lose a lot of business. <laughs> I'm sorry, kitty. I don't know what to do about that. So right now she is always here. She's always hanging out right next to my house and we'll see what happens. I guess I'll keep you guys updated. Oh, she's so yummy. Look at her. You're so beautiful. And I call her Kitty because I don't know what her name is, so I started calling her Kitty. And I kind of just kept calling her Kitty. Now she's Kitty. And I, I walk outside and I go, Kitty. And she's like, meow. <laughs> you do that. Hey. <laughs> Coco, what do you think about Kitty coming into the house? You think she could live with us? <laughs> you would be so jealous she's also a little mean to him she tried to like swat at him we don't trust kitty with coco also i just got this mug at publix for five dollars and it is such a cute santa mug what i'm gonna feed you now hold on so now i gotta figure out where i'm gonna add it to my mug collection i have a santa on this side but this one's so much better but I don't know if I could just maybe have a Santa on that side, but then if I have a- Santa where? Right here. That's not Santa. Isn't that Santa? Oh, no, that was like an elf or something. <laughs> Why is he wearing green? I don't know, I thought he was like a different version of Santa. Maybe. Okay, I just figured it out. I added Santa Claus over here, so now I have a Jack Santa and a other version of Santa over here. And then this I actually got new from a piano student. New mug collection. The one who had to get booted off was Minnie Mouse. Sorry, Minnie. You didn't make the final cut. Okay, so we're gonna open advent calendars. But we're not gonna do like six days worth in one day. So we'll do like three days worth. So this is the cheese calendar and we're gonna skip on over to day 11. This is the hot and spicy. Have we had this one? I think we have. This is hot and spicy Gouda. Cheers. Coco has his Trader Joe's advent calendar. Day 11. Not so much spice. Coco, look. This one's for you. Oh, well, now the spice is kicking in. All right, never mind. Yeah, I do. It comes in at the end. Never mind. Let me do the squishy. Day 10. Ten? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm telling you, we're behind. Oh, even nine. Whoa. Look how cute. Aw. And they're like so like satisfying. <laughs> Starting to give them to my students and they're loving them, so. We'll do a chocolate now. <laughs> Ready, right there? Wow, oh, wow, so we're really behind with the chocolates. Number eight. What's this? This is the mousse um, nougat. Oh yeah, this one's boring. I think we've had this one, right? Yeah, this one's kind of boring. It's just like chocolate on chocolate. Okay, this Not one. Not sure if we've had that one. Cappuccino truffle, we have oh, had this yes. one. There's still like one or two we haven't actually had. Let's do another cheese. Edam. Edam, is that how you say it? This is a big yeah. chunk. I'm surprised. Cheers. Pretty flavorless. Oh. I don't really taste 
anything. No. <laughs> we give one more to Coco because he's begging here, so I think he can afford one more. Another one of his salmon sweet potato treats. Here you go, Coco. Last one. Whoa. Oh, what is that? A little paw print. <laughs> like a kitty paw print. Yeah. Four and I'm gonna look for 12 too. Oh, this one's cute. There's a little white bear with a little scarf. And there's a little paw. One more chocolate. Ooh. Mm, we've had this one. Yeah? Yeah. This is latte macchiato. This was nice. That was nice, yeah. Better than the plain chocolate one. We still have like... Six more to go. <laughs> five more days to go. So... Well... If not, we can wait, we can open them even after Christmas. <laughs> yeah, we can just keep going. Toodaloo. Toodaloo.